All right, hey guys, we have a really cool project that we're going to be working on today. I'm going to show you how I'm going to run water from my front runner's slanted water tank out the back of my Jeep. All right. And then, bam. All right. Well, if you guys are interested in finding out how I did all of this, make sure you stick around. All right, guys, so if you've seen some of my previous videos, you'll know a couple of things. One is that we've already relocated our license plate bracket, so I found that this would be a perfect spot to put our spigot. And then a second thing is, you might remember that previously I had my water pump just sitting in the back next to our tank, but when I did do my uh, license plate relocation, I noticed that there's this huge void space behind our rear tail light. And I got to thinking, and I wondered if I could somehow fit my water pump in there, and I was able to fish it up through this hole in the bottom of the Jeep, and it just sits there perfectly. And then also, I noticed that from when I did my license plate relocation, I can just run another wire up through this little hole in the body right here without having to add any new holes to our body panels and then what i'm thinking i'm going to do is run the wiring underneath here up through our roll bar and then out to our battery and then what i have is this little simple click i don't know if you can hear that but it's a little click push button deal that i got off amazon and i found that in the void space behind this plastic, there's absolutely nothing. So I figured that would be a good out of the way spot to mount our button. All right, so to make all of that work, now that we already have our pump in place, we're gonna start by removing all these trim plastic pieces. We have our seatbelt piece up here and then we'll get all this off. And then uh, we need to undo these two T30 bolts at the bottom and then carefully remove all of this because we will be reusing it. All right. I'm gonna put that up there. Okay, you can see this has these little clips over here. They're kind of hard to wrestle with. All right, and then something that I totally forgot about was there's a single 10 millimeter behind here that holds our plastic trim piece down. I'm glad I didn't just pull harder because uh, that would have sucked. But from there, the plastic piece should be able to just slide out from it. All right, and then from here, there's just a simple series of like little pops on the back. See these guys that hold it in place. All right, now that once we have that removed, you can see that we have this plastic grommet right here and we should be able to just, yeah, pop it straight out. And then this is kind of the boring part of the install because it's just getting things basically prepped and working on wiring, but we're gonna slowly shove the end of our wire down through there. Should be able to make it happen. And then we're gonna wire our pump up real quick and run our wire to the battery and then we'll get to the fun stuff. All right guys, so like I was saying, we have our plastic trim piece and I figured that this flat spot would be a great place to mount that switch. And then when you look at it from behind, there are these simple uh, plastic ribs. So what I'm doing is just taking my snips and I'm gonna remove these and then I'm gonna mark where I want my hole and then we're gonna drill it out. All right, and that's pretty much where we're gonna drill our hole and have our switch sit right there. All right, so pretty much what I did was I took the nut off of the back end of my plug and I'm kind of using that as a template for where I want to make my hole to punch. I'm thinking right about there is going to work for me. All right, and you can see I just have my simple step drill bit here. And I don't actually know the diameter of my plug, but I'm gonna pretty much just drill and test as I go. So, all right, wish me luck. 
Okay. Oh, just a little bit more. Just a hair more. Okay. Let's see. Oh, that's like perfect. I can get it down in there. Okay, real quick before I get it all the way in, so I don't want to really have to take it back out, clean it up real quick a little bit with a razor blade. As the French would say, Viola. Check that out. Oh man, that's perfect. Yes. Love it when things actually work out. And now, just put our nut on, and that will pretty much be secured in place. Oh, love it when things actually work the way I plan. It's an awesome thing. And just hand tighten on is fine for me because I don't want things too tight. All right, not too bad, guys. And then you can see that our plug will simply go right there. All right, guys, so honestly, I didn't want to bore you with a bunch of wiring because like three of you would maybe find that interesting, but our switch is basically wired up. Uh, the only one that we have left is this yellow, which we're not going to need for this installation. Um, our switch does come with like a simple wiring diagram for like different variations of how the plug can work but pretty much all you need to know for now is that it's done and then viola all right now let's go get this hooked up to the battery and make sure that our pump actually works we'll get this trim piece back on and then we'll get to the fun part of hooking up our water supply all right, all right so this would be a little bit more flush if i didn't have these xg cargo mounts in place but you can see what i'm doing is just simply fishing this wire up through this little gap right here and then this will just sit right there and i don't think anyone will ever really notice it it's exposed Now I want to say this would be a little bit easier if I remove some of these pieces, but actually maybe it would be a little bit harder. I don't know. All right. Can't even tell. All right, so right here in your firewall, uh, you'll notice that if you haven't already found this and use it for other purposes, there's a little hole and it will actually be filled with foam. And what you can do is simply take like a long screwdriver or a flathead and poke that through. And then we're going to basically just kind of a trial and error type deal, run our wire through here. Okay, and then if we're lucky, oh, there we go. Perfect. You can see it will come out right here. Basically, just gonna pull that till there's not very much slack left. Okay, and then what we're gonna do pretty much is just run it across the top of our firewall, and then that's how we're gonna get power to our battery. And what I'll do in a little bit, I'm probably not gonna show you on camera because it's kind of monotonous, is I'll put some more split loom over this and then I'll zip tie it to the firewall and try to clean things up a little bit. Okay guys, like I said, I don't wanna bore you with a whole bunch of wiring stuff, but I can guarantee you that the pump is now wired to the battery. So we have it plugged in back here with our simple SAE connection. And then this is pretty much our moment of truth. And if this works, then we can basically proceed and finish up with the fun stuff. So, yeah. All right. So if you saw my previous video about this water tank, remember that it has a half inch NPT ball valve. So we're just gonna take our right angle elbow and simply Screw that in. Okay, and then next we're gonna get our tank back in. All right, perfect. All right, now we have our tank back here. I'm gonna simply put our half inch diameter hose over our barb, and then we're gonna tighten down this worm clamp. And we don't want it so tight that it damages our hose, but we also don't want our water lines leaking in the back of our Jeep. All right guys, so you can see that our tube is now coming from our tank and then we have a bunch of extra tubing over here. And then if you remove your back carpet a little bit, you can see I've already taken out the drain plug. Just above the gas tank, we have a big void space right here. So what I'm gonna do is 
at an angle, start pushing that over and feed it down. All right, so like I was saying, we have our gas tank right here and then you can see our tube is coming out just above our gas tank. We're gonna have to feed it from the other side a little bit, but the plan is we're gonna run it up over this cross member right here and then all the way across the rear of the Jeep and then up to that rear corner. All right, so you can see we have it coming out at an angle from our drain plug and then up behind this cross member and then we're gonna run it up over this cross member and pretty much kind of weave it through our other lines and where I have my EVAP lines at because I did the relocation on that. All right, and you see what we're talking about there? Keep feeding it. And this way it's gonna be pretty much up and out of the way of everything, out of the way of our exhaust. It's not gonna interfere with any lines. It'll be nice and high up. We could snag on anything. All right, and then it's gonna come out just up the top of our rear driver's side shock mount and up over the frame rail. And then I kind of wedge it back in there. Now it'll be nice and tight and up out of the way. And then what I'll ultimately do uh, is I'll just use some zip ties periodically, probably here and then here and then back in a couple other spots to secure it, but I won't bore you guys with that either. Okay, and then in the rear of our Jeep here, you can see where our pump is. And then these are some of our lines, our fuel filler line and some breather hoses. And we're just gonna take our water hose up where our pump is and then just feed it out our tail light so we can work on it. Okay, and then once again, along with these lines, I'll end up just zip tying that into place right about there. And then this is the piece of foam which normally goes in the bottom right there and I'll end up replacing this before we uh, finish up. All right guys, so here we have our new trim piece that I bought, this is $10 off of Amazon. You can see that the inside hole where this piece clips in is a perfect fit for a half inch NPT male thread, right? So what I'm gonna do is I've already marked a hole in the center of there and we're gonna drill a hole through this and then we're basically gonna take our quick to disconnect and then stick it through there and then thread it through and then on the back, I'm not quite sure it's gonna kind of be a trial and error thing as we go. I'm either gonna use this connector on the back of this side inside the uh, Jeep or I'm just gonna use this straight half inch NPT elbow with the hose barb and we're gonna kind of see which one works better but I have extra pieces laying around. Um, this I already had and then this actually comes with the front runner tap so I kind of have some different options here and then we're gonna pretty much uh, see what works out. It's either gonna be the male or the female and then we're gonna put everything together and then connect that to our pre-filter for our pump and then use a right angle out of our pump up to the end of our quick disconnect and then this quick disconnect is gonna go on the end of here. And then that way I won't just always have a tap sticking out the backside of the Jeep because I kind of like that idea, but I feel like this is, is just asking to get snagged or broken off on something. So what I'm gonna do is take this hydraulic fitting cover and then put that right there and whoa bam and it'll be covered at all times. All right, anyways, um, we're gonna kind of figure it out as we go and yeah, we'll see what works. But for now, we're going to drill a hole in this with our step bit and then try to get our half inch male fitting through there. So we'll do that real quick right now. Do this slow. Ooh, hot plastic. All right. So we had to get, take our step drill bit off to get that off, but let's see how we did. I think I just press on it. Okay, so this is kind of funny, but basically what I'm having to do, because my step bit was just a hair too small, so I'm pretty much just threading this on after opening it up as much as I possibly could, which is actually working out pretty well. All right. And now we're gonna go see how our fit is on the back of the Jeep with this. All right, cool. All right, guys, so basically I've been playing with this for a minute because as you can see, that fits really well, but the plastic is bulging a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is push it in to get it flush. 
And then I kind of played with some different lengths of tubing. Uh, this is the kind of quick connect push in thing for our pump and um, I'm thinking this is going to work this might not be the final iteration of this um, but you kind of have to sort of play with it a little bit because this is going to go up against there I don't know if you can see but right there and then connect and then yeah it's going to be a little bit of a trial and error but if you're really wanting to do this project you'll be able to figure it out and sort of play with it yourself so right now let's just see if we can't get this part threaded on there All right, so I kind of skipped over it because it was sort of tedious and I was having a pain in the butt, but I was managed to snake this end up with the filter in and get it in. Um, I honestly can't even really show you too much of good footage on it just because everything's happening inside this little area right here. And if you want to do this project, you're going to have to just kind of see what you're working with and then sort of figure out the dimensions and stuff. All right. All right, guys. Well, here we have our finished product. I think it's a pretty clean install. You can see where we used to have a license plate delete. Now we have a water quick disconnect. We have a little cap. So when we're going down the trail, it won't get all dirty and gummed up with dirt. And then when you're at camp at night or you need water for something or cleaning up, you simply plug in your water spout from Front Runner. And then we press a simple hidden button. And once it's on, what you gotta do is turn your nozzle. There we go. Yeah. Overall, I gotta say I'm pretty pleased. I think it's a pretty nice install. Uh, I've been thinking about how I'm gonna do this and planning and buying pieces for a little bit now and I'm pretty pleased overall. Yeah. And then also something that I thought would be really cool was uh, for my shower system, I bought the same quick connect fitting but with a half inch hose barb and uh, when you want to take a shower, same thing. You just plug it in and then I'll run a line straight to my shower. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. All right, guys. Well, as always, I really hope you like this video. I hope you like what I did here. Like I said, personally, I'm pretty pleased with it overall and how it turned out. If you did like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you get updates about all my new content. And as always, feel free to subscribe. All right, you guys take it easy.